Hey Posse, are you ready to bust another wine myth? We're gonna bust the wine myth. Red wine is for meat and white wine is for fish. By the end of this video, you'll know what wines you can drink and with what. You know, back in the day, before I got involved with wine, I remember being in restaurants and staring blankly at those extensive wine lists. There were so many different choices, I just couldn't figure it out. Before I short-circuited, I would say to myself, everybody knows something red goes with meat and something white goes with fish. <laughs> the confusing part was, there's a wide spectrum of red somethings and white somethings. And the same holds true for the types of meat and fish. That's what we're going to do. We're going to bust the myth that says you have to drink something red with meat and something white with fish. So to bust this myth, we're going to deal with two things. Number one, whites only go with fish or white meats. And number two, reds only go with red meats. The fact is, in general, this is not completely a myth. The high tannins in red wine are a delicious complement for the fat in red meats, and the acidity in white wine gives brightness to the match of chicken, pork, and fish. What I found was there's a whole lot of exceptions to the rule. That's what we're going to do. Bust that myth. Now to do this, we're going to look at a number of these exceptions. That means white wine lovers, I'm going to show you red meats and other things you can eat with it. And if you're a red wine lover, I'll show you the different fish and white meats that you can eat with it. You know, to get a better idea of how this works, you might want to check out my video pairing wine and food. You will definitely find it helpful. You ready to bust this myth? Sit back and relax. Maybe grab a, grab a glass of wine. Uh, get ready to take some notes. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, actually, keep in mind, at any time, if you like what you hear, click like or subscribe or hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there's a new post. Number one, we'll look at the white wine part of the myth that says only white wines go with fish or white meats like fish, chicken, and pork. Some white wines do, in fact, complement the delicate flavors of certain types of fish, but it's certainly not a blanket rule. It all depends on the type of white meats you're eating and the sauces that come alongside it. Sauces that your white meats are swimming in is the key factor. Creamy sauce screams for white wines, while tomato sauces or heavy broths or even paella would go much better with a red. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll get to the reds in a second. For the white wines, here are some of the exceptions that will help you. Number one, even though some wine snobs would may shudder at the thought of this, you can even pair a white wine with a big old bloody steak, as long as you find the right wine. A fruity, robust white wine like a Chenin Blanc is absolutely capable of holding its own against a thick slab of beef. So if you're a white wine lover, and want a big old steak, check out a Chenin Blanc. Number two, you'd be surprised at a big oaky Chardonnay, say from Sonoma or Burgundy, can do when you put it side by side with a juicy hunk of meat. The rich flavors sit beautifully alongside one another and create a fantastic mouthwatering pairing. But remember, those shards need to be big and oaky. Number three, a Hermitage Blanc from the Rhone River Valley in France is a blend of Marsan and Roussan grapes. It will pair with rich, fatty cuts of beef such as ribeye. The round, weighty texture of the wine plays to the richness of the steak, creating a harmony between the extremes of power of both the steak and the wine. Number four, pair leaner cuts of beef such as sirloin tips, top and bottom round roast and um, top sirloins with a light or medium body champagne, a brute that has 
uh, acidic quality similar to that of a red wine to cut through the texture of the meat. Number five, fatty meats such as prime ribs, filet mignon, porterhouse steaks, um, skirt steaks, New York strips, T-bone steaks, and ribeyes uh, work exceptionally well with rich, dry, nutty German Rieslings. Actually, you can't go wrong with a Riesling from false Germany. Number six, grilled and barbecued beef is a great excuse to bring out a highly acidic white wine like a Sauvignon Blanc or a cool Sancerre from France. Now, a Sancerre is made from Sauvignon Blanc grapes. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily go with an Australia or New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, for me, they're way too bold. Uh, there's too much citrus and grapefruit flavors. It'll fight uh, with the flavors of your beef. How are you doing there? Listen, I'm doing a, a little survey. If you don't mind, if you're primarily a white wine drinker, please write white in the comments below. And if you're primarily a red wine drinker, please write red in the comments below. This will help me tailor fit some of my future videos to you. Are you ready for the second half of the myth, which is only red meats go with red wine? If you're a red wine lover, here are some guidelines and some suggestions for you. Uh, the secret is matching weight with weight. The first suggestion is salmon. With a pan fried salmon, this works perfectly as you pop open a Pinot Noir. Now, if the salmon is poached, it will be silky. Therefore, a rosé or that Pinot Noir would work really well. Roasted or grilled salmon and even fresh caught butter or baramunde from uh, Southeast Asia would pair really well with a bolder red. Second, <laughs> how about a piece of swordfish? Uh, the meaty texture would fit hand in hand with a glass of Merlot. Third, are you having shrimp in a medium body tomato sauce with pasta? Sangiovese would be a, an absolute hit. Now, Sangiovese is a red wine typically from Italy, and you'll probably know it as a Chianti, but it's the Sangiovese grape grown in all parts of the world. Fourth, fatty, meaty fish like tuna or octopus. Even the salmon and swordfish that we just talked about pairs extremely well, or even better, with a medium body red wine like a rose, which isn't exactly red, a Nebbiolo, Gamay, Sangiovese, a Vallepicella, or a Pinot Noir. Uh, it would pair better than would a lighter white wine. As a general rule for light meats and fish, if you're making it on the grill, you'll find a light to medium body red would go a whole lot better than a white wine. Overall, my suggestion is if you're going to pair white meat like chicken, pork, and fish with a red wine, you need to consider using old world red wines versus new world wines. Now, to get a better idea of what I mean by old world versus new world wines, you might want to check out my video, which uh, will be available to you at the end of this video. Very simply, old world wines are from places like France, Italy, Spain, and Portugal, uh, Austria, and Germany also. Uh, the, that's all part of the old world. These red wines are more subtle and won't overpower your white meats. New World wines are from places like the US, South America, Australia, New Zealand, you know, places like that. Generally speaking, New World Reds are much bolder and have a tendency to overpower more delicate white meats. Also remember, sauce is the key factor. White meats with a spicy red sauce, barbecue sauce, or a mustard sauce could work really well with a Sangiovese or even a Syrah or Shiraz. You know, a Northern Rhone Syrah, a Northern Rhone, that's in France, that's part of the old world. Uh, that will go beautifully with chicken, as would a Pinot Noir or a Cabernet Franc. Uh, these three red wines also would go great with duck. Well, there you have it. We just busted the wine myth. White wine is for fish. Red wine is for meat. Folks, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. If you got something out of it, or have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like or subscribe or ring the little bell to be notified when I post other videos. And please share this video with others, particularly if it was helpful to you. I would really appreciate it.
Remember, you can select and buy some of these wines today while all of this is still fresh in your mind. Check out my selection in the description below. As with all of our wines, it's important to note we have a limited supply and they may not be available in all states. And oh, and don't forget, you can get a discount on the price. Just enter your discount code, Asti Wines, at checkout. Again, the discount code is Asti Wines. Folks, I'm here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together. Well, there you have it. Thanks again for joining me. Make sure you watch the other videos that I talked about. And remember to hit like and subscribe if this video was helpful. Until next time, cheers.